Did I just wait and show it stop spinning? Hi, Hi. I'm Colin. Yeah. Here. You're from Colin's Bible study that we had. We have a whole curriculum. Yeah, yeah. And since it's so close to Easter, I thought. Well, we could do Palm Sunday since Palm Sunday's tomorrow. And we could read them a story and share it with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. go to ColinsABCs.com and go to Bible studies yeah. and just download for free because you know what, Colin? What? Membership is free forever at ColinsABCs.com now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun if we just showed them the um, kids around will read the story, answer some questions, and say a prayer together. Does that sound good to you? Okay. All right. So here's what it looks like. So Growing with God Preschool Bible Study. And this is for any age. It doesn't need to be just for preschoolers. And then this one is Jesus the King Arrives. So here's what it looks like. So here's all the information you'll need. I'm going to keep on going here. And then it has the introduction. It has information. Just all how to do it all. All of it. It's really simple for parents. You can do it. Yes. She has all kinds of great ways how to introduce the story, how to do the snack, how to read the story. So super cool. Super cool. All the information you need is on here. There's a song. So every lesson has all this information and a song that's specific for the um, the lesson. (laughs) Yes, Gator loves to sing. So this one is an activity for resurrection eggs. And then read the Bible story. And then questions and answers. Questions and answers. Gator, gator. And then a craft to make, an idea for that. That's a palm branch. And then um, a snack idea, snack prayers that you can say. I know, it's that time, isn't it, Gator? Yep. And then there's some more extra content on the other side. And then there is a lot of stuff. But yeah, you're probably getting a little bit bored looking at all these great things. (laughs) But then there's also a coloring page. Oh. Stay safe and be at home. Yeah. This can be really helpful. Yes, for sure. So there's different craft ideas on here as well. And then the pictures that you would need for the resurrection eggs. Oh, and we do have the resurrection egg countdown going on right now. Yeah. You can open an egg each day up to Easter with Cullen and me. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Go to the channel where you are now. Yeah. And you can find the Open the Egg series with Gator and Cullen. Super fun. So fun. Okay. So let's read the story. So make sure, Gator, you have your good listening ears. (laughs) 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 Okay. So so at the end, I'm going to ask some questions. And let's see if you guys can answer the questions before Gator answers them. No way. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> that says read the Bible story. Okay, so Jesus the King arrives um, from Mark 21. So the book of Mark, the chapter is 21, and then the verses are 1 through 11. Okay, so I'm going to read it. So make sure you have those good listening ears on. Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem. Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of me, and at once you will find a a donkey tied there. Untie the donkey and bring him to me. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it and will send it back soon. The disciples obeyed, found the donkey, untied it, and some people standing there asked, what do you think they asked? Why? What are you doing? Untying that donkey, they answered as Jesus told them to, and the people let them go. After the disciples went and did as Jesus had told them, they brought the donkey and placed cloaks on it for Jesus to sit on. So, oh, that's a good question, Gator. You read my mind. That's exactly what I was going to say. So it's kind of like a shirt or a jacket, like a cloth, you know, something like that a towel. (laughs) Yeah, good listening, Gator. 
Jesus rode the donkey to Jerusalem and a big crowd of people welcomed him. The people cut palm branches from the trees and waved them, while others spread their cloaks on the road in front of Jesus. Crowds of people went ahead of Jesus and followed him, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. So they were happy and excited and praising him. This made the leaders angry and jealous of Jesus. The leaders wanted all the people to follow them and not Jesus. They, the people knew Jesus was the true king and that he was the one to follow, listen, and to obey. Jesus is our king too. Great listening. Yay. Yay. Good job, Gator. So, okay, we're ready for the questions? Okay, I hope so. Okay, here we go. First question. What town did Jesus and his disciples go to? Do you remember, Gator, do you wanna say it? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, yay, good job. Okay, good job you too. What did Jesus tell two of his disciples to get? A dog. A dog. Oh, no. Did they? Did Jesus write on a dog? Or does it start with the letter D? Hmm. A doggy. Yay. Okay. Give a high five. I'll take a high five. High five. Nice. Did the disciples listen obey and follow Jesus's directions? Did they? Yes, they did. They did. Nice. High five. Nice. Um, Was the crowd of people happy to see Jesus? Oh, yeah, Yeah, they were. It was like a party. They were like, what did they lay on the ground? Yeah. There are two things, actually. It's a two two answer question. <laughs> yeah. Close. Yes. And palm branches. Palm branches. Palm Sunday. Yes. We actually have a craft in the in the I curriculum where you can make your own palm branch. That. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you are crafty cater. What were people saying? Do you remember what they were saying? Some of the words. Any of the words? Hooray. Hooray. Sure. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna means savior or helper. Yay. Hosanna. Yes. Did the leaders like Jesus? Yes or no? What do you think? No. Cater got it already. No, they were jealous and didn't like that people were following Jesus, huh? Is, last question. They do, yes. Yes, they do. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, last question, Gator. Is Jesus your king? Yes! Yes, Jesus is our king. Yay. Okay, one more thing. Do we want to do a prayer? Okay, so how about, so on the other side of the paper, it has the prayer. And of course, you can say any prayer that you want to say. This is just to help you, give you ideas on what you can say if you'd like to. So what I'll do, okay, what I'll do is I will say it, and then if you will repeat it. So say exactly what I said, okay? Does that sound good? So Gator, you be the repeater with the kids, okay? Okay. Okay. So you can fold your hands, you can close your eyes. Sometimes if we close our eyes, then we're not distracted from the other things that are around us. But you can pray however you want to pray. You can fold your hands, you can lift your hands up, however you want to do that, okay? Okay, here we go. Dear God, God. thank you for this day. day. Thank you for bringing Jesus Jesus. to me as my king. king. Please help me me to follow you you 
every day of my life. Every day of my life. I love you. I love you. Amen. Amen. Yay. And thank you for tuning Good story, Colin. Thanks. Yes, it is a great story. And it's the start. So tomorrow is the start of Holy Week. You may have heard of these different words. And so tomorrow is Palm Sunday. And you can read the story again. You can do the resurrection eggs with us. Oh, yeah. We eggs start with Palm Sunday and the resurrection eggs. And then we'll do another live video again. It'll be super fun. So we hope you can join us. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.